What's going on everybody? JR from JR's Cars. Today I'm going to show you how to change the headlights on a 2013 Ford Escape. So check it out and we'll get at this right now. Okay, so um, I had a video about uh, replacing the bulbs in the back. Um, now I have a, uh, a headlight that's out. So um, it's, it's pretty good. It'll tell you when the headlight's out. So if you get in your car, you turn your car on. It's going to tell you that you have a low beam bulb fault. That means that you have one of the low beams that are out. And easiest way is to turn the lights on, go outside, and take a look at it, see which one it is. And there it is. It doesn't lie. Left one works. Right one definitely doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to replace it. It's really simple and easy. All right, so if you take a look here, you can see that on the uh, side that works, it's the outer bulb that needs to be replaced. So on this one, obviously it is not functional. So what you'll do is you'll come back under the hood to the back side of the light housing, right? So this is your light housing. This is the inner one. This is the outer one. So you wanna remove this little rubber cover plate here. And on the inside right there, is your bulb so this is the bulb that you're gonna have to replace so nice and easy get your hand in there turn the bulb to the left and pull it straight out now you want to be careful with the wiring you don't want to yank on it really hard because it only has a little bit of give so it's really not um, it's not gonna go out too far but it'll give you enough room here to work on it um, so what you need to do here is you need to pull this tab back. You'll see that tab right there. You'll pull that tab down and then you'll separate the, um, the light from the harness, which you can see right here. You'll pull on this and then pop it out. And there's your light. And for reference, these are the bulbs that I'm using using the uh, Sylvania ExtraVision H11. They take, this car takes an H11 bulb. And if you're gonna do one, you might as well do both. It's really not that much more expensive, but you know, when you're looking at bulbs that are probably factory from the car, um, if you get one that goes out, more than likely the other one's gonna go out soon enough. And especially if you're changing to a different type of bulb, there's an upgraded version of these that are a more white light. Um, so if you do that, you definitely want to switch both at the same time. So one thing to mention is when you're replacing the bulbs, you definitely don't want to touch the glass of the bulb. You want to only handle it by the bottom harness here um, because you don't want your fingerprints on the glass. It's, it's known that it's caused you know, deterioration of the lights and possibly, possibility of them going bad quicker. Um, so when you put them in, just handle them by the plastic piece here. And installation is basically in the reverse. Like I said, you want to make sure that you're not touching the glass part. Grab this here. Plug in your harness. Make sure that it snaps in place. You'll put it back in to about there because that's where it's going to push in. And then you will turn it to the right. And then when you turn it to the right, you'll see that it's straight up and down and you'll feel it twist and seal. Once that's done, you put your cover back on and then you're good to go. Just make sure that when you're putting this back on that you're sealing it up you're sealing it up really good because it's going to be a little bit difficult to push back into place, but you want it uh, you want to make sure that there's no water that's going to get in there. And there you have it. Lights are all done. The driver's side light is back to working again and they're nice and clear. They look a little bit brighter too, so I'm happy about that. The only other thing that I would have to do is to give the lenses a good clean um, and, and compound because they're starting to get a little hazy. Um, so I definitely have to clean that up. So if this helped you out, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and check out my other videos that I have because as you can see in the background, my Mercury is sitting there and she's sad. She needs a little work done to her. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll link it in the description below. And also behind it, I have my edge still. And if you haven't checked that video out, I want to see what's going on with this knocking. 
Um, so I want to try to rip the um, rip the pan off the bottom of it and see what's going on. If there's actual bearing missing or what's going on. So I'll link that down below too. I hope everybody's staying safe. And I'll catch you in the next video.